Okay, so now that all of the fall decor is put away, um, I wanted to go through some of my Christmas stuff and show you some of my like vintage antique finds that I've collected throughout the years. And completely honestly, I was a bit surprised. I didn't realize I had so much Christmas decorations already stored in our garage. We were pulling out bins and I was like, oh, this one's Christmas. This one's Christmas. <laughs> so we already had a lot and I've been thrifting more decorations, which I mean, I love, <laughs> but that definitely means I'm gonna have another storage bin or two added to these, but it's okay. It's fine, I love Christmas. It's okay. <laughs> so we'll first start with this first bin. Um, this is all orna uh, ornaments for the tree. Okay, so this is one of the ones that I love. It is like a shade of black. Um, I'm not really sure how old it is or where it's from, but it is glass. So I'll be really careful with this one. But I do love that one. And there's quite a few under here actually. But since I'm not taking them out and decorating the tree yet, I don't want to remove all of them. Like look at this one. This one's beautiful. So pretty. So I didn't want to go through that second row because it's just gonna be hard to put them back because we're not putting up the tree today. But let's see what's in this one. So I got some boxes. <laughs> um, oh yeah. So I do have a lot more vintage ornaments in here. So this one, these ones are European glass, the colorful ones that are in here. Not all of them. I, I stuffed a few more ornaments in here because I didn't have space anywhere else. But like this ones are the European glass ones. Definitely not shatterproof. <laughs> like a little snowman. Or not so a little Santa Claus and a little guy on a plane look him. and look at this cute little tree with a burlap sack I forgot I have this oh, and I forgot I have this little brass candle holder my stocking holders I'm like obsessed with them I have like a whole set so this is one this is two look at the little bears they're so cute there's Santa Claus stocking holder and then I have all of my stockings. So I collected these at different places. I think a thrift store, flea markets, all of that. But they're all needlepoint stockings. And they're all different. I just love like mismatchy stuff. It just makes everything look a little bit more homey. So this next one's actually pretty empty. We got this at our local antique store and she was closing. We were buying a few things and then um, Tan was taking a look at this and she was just like, here, you like that? Take it. <laughs> so she was the sweetest. Um, so this is like a nutcracker. These two deer are reindeer. I got these at a thrift store last year. Okay, so in my last video, I found this smoker. You put a incense cone in there and then smoke comes out of it. Um, so I did buy the incense cones off of Amazon. So this is the Christmas scent. It smells very kind of herbal. We'll try it out, but I got obsessed and I started looking online for more smokers and 
I found this guy. He is so cute. He's on a rocking horse. It's supposed to also be like a music box thing. It's not working. Uh, we'll see if we can try to fix it. But this one he pops off from here and then that's where the incense cone goes. So I have three in total now. So the other one I got is this sheep herder. He has this sheep, this sheep, and a sheep on his back. <laughs> so adorable. And then this one has the little pipe. So I'm really excited to see these smokers in action. <laughs> They're gonna be on my mantle. I'm so excited. Okay, and then I have these frames with little arts in them. Um, and I want to hang them on the tree and put little bows on them. And then I bought little resin frames that look like these as well. They're a little smaller, um, but I wanted to add little artwork and so that the tree has a lot more frames hanging on it. Um, so this is actually something I just got today and I'm so excited about it. I was looking for a new tree topper and I want it to be like more vintage um, because the one that I have right now is, I think we got it at Target. Um, so I wanted a little bit more character. And I've been shopping at like the thrift stores, antique stores, and they have all their Christmas stuff. And a lot of the toppers I've been seeing are like the angel ones that everyone had in the 90s. Like I know my family had that one in the 90s. So I was thinking of buying that. And then I was looking online and I saw bare angel tree toppers. And I was like, I love it. I need to get one. And this one just sold me because Okay, first of all, she's cute. I got it for $20. But second of all, the name. Oh my God. So if you do not know, my small little dog, she, her name is Muffy. Uh, my big dog, his name is Robin. Um, but she is just like the cutest, sweetest little baby. And I thought that this bear kind of looks like her too um but let me show you the tree topper isn't it so cute and it says peace on earth love muffy um and then she has her little wings in the back um and then there's like the plastic cone to put her on the tree this is like a popular um bear it sounded like in the 80s when I like read it online, read about it online. Um, they're like the Vander Bears and she had like a bunch of outfits and like her family and friends had outfits and furniture and all of that. So I thought that was really cool. Um, I saw some like of the other items online and they're pretty cute. They're pretty cute. But um, this is so cool. And then look, I will show you. She looks like Muffy. See? It looks like her. Her name is Muffy and it looks like her. <laughs> it's so cute. So that is it for everything I wanted to do. Like kind of like a show and tell of like all of my vintage antique um, collection of Christmas decor. So this year, I think the theme I'm going for is like an very overfilled, overdone Christmas tree and like flowers and lots of reds, like very classic vintage Christmas, I guess. <laughs> that is what we're going for. So we're probably gonna be decorating later this week. That will be in the next video. So I wanted to share, I think it was like a week or two ago, but we did go to uh, the Great Junk Hunt, which is like a vintage antique market. So I'll clip that in for you guys next.
sold. Of course that's sold. That's so pretty. Yes, a folding table. I would have bought that. So this was the first time they were at that venue um, and there were a lot of vendors, a lot of antique things and we were like, we got there at two and today was the last day so they closed at four and we were just like rushing around to see all of the little knickknacks and all the booths and really trying to like get through everything. So there were four like hangar areas and like buildings that they had all of the vendors in and we actually went through all of them like we got through them so fast um but we literally ended it was like 355 um but we got through them right now we're heading out to go get some ramen for dinner i'll show you guys a little haul later on we'll see you later From the great junk hunt. <laughs> okay, Robin's here and Muffy. <laughs> no? Okay, so we're home. Um, I wanted to do a little haul. First thing that I got were these two pieces. So this was $2. It's a little pitcher. And this is a, I, I believe it's to hold cream. Uh, but it's transfer wear and it has this really pretty green color on it uh, So it's I don't know if you can see it, but it's really pretty and this was five dollars And the next thing I got was this welcome sign with this reindeer It's so cute. So this was I believe 20 and then the other thing we got is this um, it's the sewing machine drawer holders with the drawers from like those old antique sewing machines and we've been trying to like source them because we want to use them as like uh, containers to put like little things like if you think of like Batman, like nails or you know if Tan's doing woodwork he has like a bunch of little tools um, drill bits and all of that the other thing that we got is 
this footstool and sorry it has fur on it already <laughs> if you have a lab you know <laughs> i do love needlework and florals and all of that and tan saw this and he was the first one that said like hey you know this kind of looks like something we already have because we just sourced like a bench from an estate sale a month ago and it has like the same color needlework with florals and like kind of like these turned handles on the side and we're like oh my gosh we need to get it so i actually have it up right here um the bench that we have so i'll show you like right next to it what it looks like and this is actually perfect because muffy loves to be on the couch so she's she's always asking us like hey put me on the couch so i wanted to see since our couch is low if she would use this to jump on the couch on her own okay so i just want to show you do you see it's so insane how the needlework is like the same colors and i wanted to clip this in my sister and her husband went with us and they found this beautiful cabinet okay so i wanted to test and see if um, or like where I could put this uh, because I want it to slip under like a couch only because we don't have a lot of walking space. Our house is pretty small, like our living room is pretty small. Um, so yeah, it's definitely not gonna go under there. Our couch is really short. Uh, doesn't fit under there either. Uh, Maybe, maybe I'll go over here. Okay, yeah, I think this is gonna work. Yay! Okay, so it's gonna go under the coffee table. So that's perfect. All right, so I did, so it's kind of gripping to the floor a lot, so it's hard to slide uh, because I put these little grips at the bottom of the feet. So if I leave it here, for Muffy to like jump on, like it doesn't slide out of out of place. It's just it's a wobbly. <laughs> it's a wobbly on its own. Um, but yeah, so that's perfect. Ready? Okay, Muffy. Up. Oh, Bumman's tail's in the way. Okay, Muffy, ready? And up. Wow, good job. Nice. See, that's how you do it by yourself. <laughs> <laughs>